Hey guys, Brad here. I want to talk about Social Security and specifically Social Security for a spouse. Okay, so when you collect Social Security, most people have two options and that is collecting your benefit or collecting half of your spouse's benefit. All right. Now, there are some other options when it comes to people that are divorced or some a widow or widower. But for today's sake, we're talking about just the spousal benefit. All right. And where the confusion has come in is um, I, I've had this happen a couple times here recently is we're looking at we got spouse number one, spouse number two here. OK, spouse number one benefit at FRA full retirement age is three thousand dollars. But then if this spouse delays until age 70, it goes up by 24 percent because it's going up by eight percent a year. All right. And we're, we're assuming full retirement age of 67 here. So it goes up by 8% a year until age 70. So it's going to go up to $3,720 at age 70. Now, this person was thinking that their spouse would get 50, qualify for 50% of that $3,720. But that's not the case. Okay. The spousal benefit stops increasing at full retirement age. All right. So in order for spouse, spouse number two here to get the full, um, I, I guess the maximum benefit, this spouse for one, it, really two requirements. This spouse has to wait until spouse number one hits full retirement age, okay? And then spouse number two can start collecting once spouse number two hits full retirement age. Okay, so let's say that they're the same age, then at the age of 67, spouse number two can start collecting and get $1,500. But if spouse number one does not collect, spouse number two can't collect, then spouse number two delays until age 70, which a lot of times there are benefits of that, okay? Sometimes it makes sense. So spouse number one waits until age 70 and collects 3720, now, spouse number two can collect, but yet is still only going to get half of this number here, $3,000, all right? So spouse number two is only going to get $1,500, all right? So that's, that's point number one, all right? Now, point number two, and here's another place the confusion comes in when it comes to spousal benefit, okay? This spouse here, spouse number two, can start collecting based on their own benefit at the age of 62, right? That's when people qualify for Social Security benefits at, at the age of 62. It's a reduced benefit at that point. And if FRA is 67, okay, spouse number two is going to take a 30% reduction and get $700 a month at age 62. Now, when spouse number one starts collecting, okay? So let's say spouse number one goes to age 67 and starts collecting the $3,000 here. Spouse number two is going to step up to what amount, okay? So a lot of people think that spouse number two is going to step up to half of this of $1,500, okay? Which is close, but not fully true, all right? So... Um, if spouse number two has a has an earnings record, okay, their benefit is always going to be partially from their benefit and then partially from their spouses as long as they're collecting a spousal benefit, okay? So that portion that it comes from their benefit is permanently re reduced, okay? So that $700, because this spouse started collecting early at the age of 62 based on their own record, all right? There was a 30% reduction in that amount, all right? And then at the age, um, when spouse number one hits the age of 67, since they're both the same age, you know, this really, as soon as this spouse starts collecting, then this one can step up, okay? But this one starts collecting at 67, all right, now this one can step up because it's going to be a higher benefit, all right, but it's still going to be reduced, Okay. So that $1,000 is going to be reduced down to $700, and then you're looking at about an additional $500 that's going to come from the spouse's benefit. So this benefit is going to be more like $1,200 at full retirement age versus 
the full 1500 that they thought it was going to be. Okay? Lots of moving parts to Social Security, but here are just two, two misunderstandings when it comes to collecting based on the spousal benefit. All right? That spousal benefit does not increase past full retirement age. Okay? So spouse number two can collect half of this, but not half of this. But then misconception number two, if spouse number two starts collecting on their own benefit earlier, okay, their benefit is always gonna be less than half of this, okay? Because the portion of that that comes from their benefit is gonna be permanently reduced, okay? That's what happens when you start collecting early with Social Security. All right, hope that helps. I'll uh, attach a couple links in the comments, okay, to my website. Um, links to articles, get more information. Thanks, guys.